The gas stove controversy is heating up again. Before the nationwide uproar, the Biden administration was actually serious about banning gas stoves. So here now to discuss is the great Jimmy Fela, host of Fox Across America. He is felt, he is sexy, oh. and he has a beautiful jacket on tonight. Hey, and, girl. And have you been drinking? No, no, she's a, he's a fan. He and I, I have was, a mutual I'm, admiration thing going on here. We have you between us as a buffer for this segment for it's safety necessary. purposes. It's yeah. necessary. I don't, you know what? I don't want to be the middle of this sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable. Think it's of yourself like, as like the bouncer. More this of the, is, I know I'm wearing pink, here. but I'm like the, the I am the cream center of some really weird <laughs> cookie. Oh, okay, okay we got to move on. Yeah. So, Jimmy, <laughs> you finally find out this was not a joke about gas stoves. They were serious about getting my, banning my gas stove, what say you? Well, of course they were. And to be clear, like, I've gained so much weight in January, I hope someone takes my stove. Like, I just, stove and the microwave, take it all. But we always knew this was a trial balloon for the bigger ban, which was gas cars. In comedy, they say you don't open with your closer. Uh -huh. Okay, you gotta ease them into your biggest routine. And that's what this was. Get them to shake their head yes that a gas stove was dangerous. So you could ultimately get them to shake their head yes that a gas car was dangerous. So all this ever was was a scam. And we know that's true, okay? We know that's true because they floated it like a trial balloon. Like they did, remember when they were going to have that misinformation society yeah. and Mary Poppins chick and we were like, she's nuts. And they were like, fine, we won't do it. That's what this was. They're like, we think we're going to ban the stoves. And we were like, hell no. And they were like, fine, we won't do it. Scam. I still think they're going to ban the cars, though. They I want to get there, but this was their way of getting buy-in from the public. It's hard to agree the car's no good if you don't get something incremental along the way. So they started doing what Democrats always do. When they want you to agree, they tell you, do this or people will die. They were saying the hazardous gases from the stove. You've never been to a funeral where someone died of oven. Where they go, what did he die from? Oh, he's cooking an omelet. And the, they got to him. It's been around forever. It's a scam. Frontier Airlines launching an all-you-can-fly summer pass for just 399 bucks, <laughs> but there's a catch. You have to book the flight the day before. <laughs> no, no, you no, no. look like you have flown Frontier. I know a lot about Discount Airlines doing comedy, and there are several catches. Like, when you fly these airlines, there are so many, like, they charge you for everything. Like, in the pre-flight announcements, they're like, in the event of a change in cabin pressure, please swipe your MasterCard or Visa and pull down on the overhead mask. Everything. Like, you probably don't even get a seat for this price, let alone a baggage fee. Have you ever flown Frontier? Like, you know you're on a bad airline when the pilot puts out a tip cup. You're like, what is, what are you, a barista? What is going on here? So they're trying to attract business on the front end, and it works to people who've never flown discount before, but you understand the ticket price is the opening offer. And you're going to pay. And pay. You, you, bring, oh. you bring a fanny pack on the plane. You're, By the way, I bring a fanny pack. My kids mock me all the time. I'm sorry I do. Yeah, yeah. But you're going to pay for it. It's like 20 oh. bucks for the fanny pack. Oh, there's no, no, no class. Like, no, no, uh, no shot that That's you That's what would. my kids say yeah. about me. I have no class when I bring my fanny pack. Sean Duffy, <laughs> school on a Sunday. No I class. I have right. a fanny pack. Well, you're a woman. Uh, as That's a different. man, it's not, it's not well, cool. Yeah, you can rock kids. it. We're not supposed to, for real. No, the, yeah, yeah. No, but cool. the frontier, you know, all airlines are awful. Yes. There's no dignity in flying coach anymore. Like, you're flying assistant coach. Like, you're not even the head coach. You're oh, just some the, guy with a clipboard now. There's no, there's no dignity in flying first class either. Nope. The 90 year old woman at 7 o'clock in the morning who orders the Bloody Mary with no bloody. <laughs> Dude. And the flight attendant goes, ma'am. So you just want vodka rocks. And she's, <laughs> and she's like, and no rocks. <laughs> Dude. Just a small and model. then she proceeds to like take off her shoes Did and put her 90 year old bare feet on Yo. the Whoa. I flew Spirit back from Florida. The first guy I saw on the plane was like so beat up and disheveled, like I literally stipped him at 20. But enough about the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy, I only have a minute left, so yep. I'm going to get to this one. So this is the rise of uh, the robots. ARK Investment CEO Kathy Wood predicting Amazon will have more robots than employees in just seven years. What do you say about that? Well, they're saying the robots will be here in seven years, but if they have Prime, they'll be here in three. <laughs> Amazon jokes! Look, this guy's good! Come on! Are you working out material? Not at all. Not even a little. I wouldn't touch this in Reno. They would storm the stage, and rightfully so. Uh, but I do believe this is coming because yeah. this is the end goal. Amazon made its money off hyper uh, efficiency. And there's nothing more efficient and affordable than phasing out the humans. And does anybody look more like a billionaire supervillain than Jeff Bezos? No one sues you. They nope. show up for work. No yep. one's sick, right? Yeah. 
You're not, you're not going to get me too by a robot. You know what I mean? It depends what you download, is, but I'm just saying. This is where I don't make a joke about his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. The best. You are the best. Oh, we know guys. this weekend. Let's get him. Nevada. Right. Nevada. 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 Right. We'll be right, right back.